How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We live in this four-wheel Tacoma pop-up camper, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, Camper and I made our way to Bozeman, Montana. Here, we picked up our cousin Sarah to join us on our adventures. We had a blast tasting some local grub, hit a hot springs resort, got our workout on, went hiking to a gorgeous waterfall, explored and camped in the national forest, and so much more, leaving off making our way further north in Montana. Whenever there's this many cars, it means there's an animal somewhere. <gasps> Looks like a baby bear. Good <clears throat> whoa. Good morning from Glacier National Park. Hey everyone. We are staying on the east side of the park today. Um, normally the Glacier National Park that you see starts from the west side on going to the Sun Road. Uh, one of the reasons we're staying on this side is I have a friend over here, so therefore I have a built-in dog sitter because dogs are not allowed but also because Glacier National Park just implemented a permit system for going to the Sun Road. And although only a few dollars, it requires some planning, uh, something that I wouldn't exactly say is my strong suit when it comes to travel. I like to go day by day, but I know how to beat the system and I'm gonna show you how I do that without permits. But first, let's head over to Grinnell Glacier, one of my favorite hikes in the area. No permit required. Good morning. Excuse me, brush my teeth. Oh, don't worry. I lived in a car for four years. That's all I do. <laughs> She's not kidding. Huh? I watch you on YouTube. Get out of town! No way! <laughs> Sean, you're with us. We're going. <laughs> Coming for a little bit. Woo! See if they can keep up with me. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe not. Holy moly. This is beautiful. That water's so clear. Hit me with that blue stuff. If you want to cut down your hike about four miles, you can take the boat from here to the dock here. You walk another 900 yards and then you'll hit Josephine Lake where you will take another boat across. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> This is gorgeous, huh? All right, we are officially two miles in where the boat would have left us if we got a ticket, but we didn't. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Yourself, freak. Hi. Mm. Nothing's better than a sandwich on a hike. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's the dead stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. See how it is. Sean is trying an avocado and cheese sandwich. Yeah. He hates it. <laughs> <laughs> <Any> water. <laughs> 
I liked it. Sarah, oh, yeah. vlog time again. Yeah. Coming at you live. <laughs> it's been 20 hours and we've gotten lost. Hopefully we can make it out of here alive. <laughs> How are we feeling, gang? I'm feeling great. Woo! Feeling good. It's like a green screen. That's where we're going next. Look at all the little tiny people. <laughs> I'm soaked. Well, that's one way to cool off. <gasps> I felt great. Sarah, one more right here. That lake way over there is where we came from and we are going way over yonder. Whew, we probably have another mile or two left. The views are insane. Oh yeah, we're moving away from them. All right, I'm gonna pass on this trail here. I mean, they are gorgeous creatures, but they are scary. This is incredible. We have some big horned sheep behind us. That made the hike. What do we got? We got 0.4 miles and then we're there. For sure, overlook. Oh my goodness, we did it. Wow. High five, fam. Ooh. We crushed it. Yep. You're going to go in? Yeah, I'm going to go in. <laughs> Molly was calm and I was psychotic. <laughs> Just out. So much drama. How are you doing, fam? I'm relaxing. All right, team, lay back down. <laughs> this time we're gonna use our noggin, no wet feet. That was fun. Hiking 101, always come prepared. Sarah really packed ultra light today. I out these knots. <laughs> you wanted to work on the one on my back? <laughs> <laughs> We've, made We've made it to land. We've made it.
Smiley group hugs. <laughs> we did it. Woo. It was nice to meet you, Sean. Yeah, nice to meet you too. That was fun. Epic hike. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Hell yeah. That was awesome. Uh, so we have a 45 minute drive of getting back to where we're sleeping tonight. And when I have long drives like that, I really like to utilize charging up my Jackery portable power station. Uh, other than my refrigerator, this is my main source of power for everything from my phone, electronics. I used to use it for my induction cooktop, uh, so many different things. So it's very important to me that this is always charged up. Uh, another reason why I love this thing is let's say I'm not on a long drive or I don't have access to an electrical outlet, this baby charges up directly through the sun. I highly recommend having a portable power station, not just for full-time travel and car living, but also for in a home for emergencies. You can be up and running in seconds. If you would like one for yourself, please use the link in my description as it really helps out Camper and I, but also I have a discount code for you. All right, let's get over to the camp spot. Thank you. Oh my god. Now that we've eaten an entire pizza to ourselves, <laughs> I think we can clean. Let's pop her up. Sarah, what are we doing now that we're clean? We're getting ice cream. I'm making my cone. I used to work at an ice cream store. I can see that. <laughs> I didn't get very many tips. <laughs> I'm too tired to laugh. <laughs> oh, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> the sun doesn't go down for another couple hours, but we're gonna go to bed anyways because we are waking up before the sun tomorrow morning. Good night. It's still so dark out. Oh god. No. <laughs> <It's so pretty. laughs> I'm so sore. <laughs> Good thing today's a driving day. So if you also want to do going to the Sun Road without permits, you're going to have to wake up and get through that gate before 6 a.m. But you're also going to want to keep an eye out for road closures. So another reason we're on the east side of the park is there's construction until 6 a.m. on the west side of the park, which means this is the only way in before 6 a.m. So you're going to want to get up early if you want to get on that road between May and September. Otherwise, no permits are required and you're okay.
first walk of the day to wake up the legs and the body. Ooh, ooh. Don't fall. <laughs> He's coming at us, which means that locals have been feeding him. Don't like that. Don't like that. <laughs> it's chasing us. If you guys watch my channel, you know I constantly am urging leave no trace ethics. If you don't know what that is, Google it right now and read up on all the principles. But another thing is never ever feed the wildlife. You do not want to humanize these creatures. Not only is it dangerous for us, but it's dangerous for them. So please don't sacrifice these animals just because you want a cute photo. Leave nature as it's intended. He came this way and went up that trail. So he's gone now. First beautiful viewpoint of the day. Right behind us is Jackson Glacier. This is one of the easiest glaciers to see in the park. Now, in 1910, when this park was established, there were over a hundred glaciers throughout this park. Unfortunately, every glacier in this park is receding. So what was once a hundred glaciers is now, I think around 25. So right now we are going through Logan Pass. Uh, this is also part of the Continental Divide where some very popular hikes start, one of those being the High Line Trail, which I highly recommend if you are coming to the park. It is beautiful. But definitely show up early because by 8 a.m. it is already super busy and the parking lot is completely full. Wash, so. <laughs> Frick's car wash, so. Frick's car wash. Everybody's trying to get a parking spot. Nobody's gonna get a parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> We made a couple loops and there was no parking, so we're just gonna skip the middle of the park. Should we jump in? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah? yeah. You wanna do it? All right, 9 a.m. Still cold out. This lake is gonna be the coldest. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sarah Cam time. <laughs> hey everyone. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey everyone. Welcome back to Sarah Cam. After jumping into that lake, I can say that my cousin is crazy. She jumped into a glacier. I almost got <laughs> hypothermia, so not planning on doing that anytime soon. All right, signing out. All right, now we're back the way we came, and then we're gonna go see camper. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad-free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all. Hi, baby. Hi there. Hi, Camper. Come here, good boy. Hi, Camper. Oh my God, hi. Hi there. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a All right, we are going to <laughs> bug in the face. <laughs> okay. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm blocking out the haters. <laughs> <laughs> I need to block the haters. They get really mean on the comment section. Yeah. <laughs> It'll make you feel better.